the PM2022 planner monitor from Sensor One. Today I'm going to be walking you through a little bit of the setup process and helping you get started with your new planner monitor. After you've powered on your tablet, you're going to notice on the home screen the SensorOne.com icon. Let's go ahead and select that to start up our application. Once the app is started up on the right hand side over here, you're going to notice where it says Implement 1, 2, and 3. Go ahead and select Implement 1. For today's purposes, I'm going to be using the Demo Implement option. Up at the top, you can select your implement name and change the name up here. We're going to start with our row spacing over here. We're going to go ahead and select the correct row spacing and then hit Save. Implement Width will automatically adjust itself. Your misplaced seed limits can be found in the graph in your PM2022 manual. We'll go ahead and select the correct characters and then hit Save. Next, we'll go to Population. We want to hit our target population. Ty type in the target population by the thousands. Select Absolute. It, the high and low population will automatically adjust, so we'll go ahead and hit Save. Your seed spacing will adjust accordingly as well. Next, we're going to go into Sensor Setup. Yours will look something like this with a bunch of empty boxes. We'll select the Population Graph icon to the left over here and then touch each individual row that we will be monitoring. and then we're going to select save down here at the bottom. Now this is actually going to tell your tablet to start communicating with the black box. Next we're going to go over here to speed. Today I'm going to be running fixed speed for the demo option but you need to make sure that you're selected under speed input because you should be running radar with this monitor. After you've selected speed input we're going to go ahead and hit save. Then down at the right hand corner you'll notice the little house down here. We can select that and it will ask, ask us implement setup has been changed, save changes and exit, we will select yes. It's going to take you to the planner screen, yours will not be planning um, and obviously until you take off it will say over here no data from, from black box until you start planning. This is where all your warnings are going to show up over here, it looks like I have high population on row 12. I can clear that out by selecting the clear alarm to the right there. Obviously my problem hasn't been fixed so it's still there. The three bubbles to the right there allow you to select each individual graph and change it for the different information that you're looking for as does the graph here in the center just by selecting it and touching the desired graph that you wish to be monitored. Up at the top these options are also interchangeable as well. You can change these just by touching the field that you wish to change holding down on it. Once it picks it up you can drag it into the box below and then you'll go look for the field that you wish to see displayed, hold down on it, and then drag it into the desired place. After you select back up here, these population and singulation boxes have an extra dual function. You can select the lower half of the box and it will monitor the individual rows in here, as where you can also click on the individual problem row and watch it plant individually as well. And you can, after you hit back twice, you can do that on both the population and the singulation box here. This is the introduction to the PM2022 Planner Monitor. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 1-800-SENSOR-1.